right, so here is the black piece, Derek Lewis. It wasn't all that long ago that he beat Alexander Volkov and won 9 of 10 and earned a title shot against you in New York City. Derek Lewis back on the grind here tonight. Derek Lewis is a beast and one of the strongest guys that I have ever felt inside of the octagon. Every time his punches land, you can feel this unbelievable thud up against your head, in the body, in everything he does. It is just absolute power. He's a very, very good athlete, as he shows with these double kicks that he always likes to throw up. Derek Lewis, when you win nine out of 10 fights, you're a monster. And he is on paper one of the more prolific knockout artists this division historically has ever seen. The Black Beast, ready to get back to it here tonight. So the outstanding boxer getting back on the proven ground here tonight. And I know in his last fight, he got a little bit sensitive because we talked so much about his hands. He's a layered mixed martial artist, but certainly boxing has been his foremost skill, at least thus far in the U.S. What's his bread and butter? When he's doing his best work, it's behind the hands. It's behind the setup. And we as broadcasters have seen enough of the sport at the highest level and boxing to know that that is the path that he has shown. That is the path that he has chosen. His footwork, his speed, his feints, his setups, they are all boxing centric. So we call him a boxer, and guess what? Take pride in that. You're one of the best in the UFC at using that skill. His jab is great, but he has told us this week he believes that the knockout's gonna come with that patented left hook. We'll find out here in a matter of moments. Kill the day for this, our main event of the evening. Here once more, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Referee for this one. Right. All right, so here we go with this stand up only fight. You guys got to play by the rules. No grappling or wrestling of any type. Also, you cannot do follow up strikes on the floor. Let's see who the last man standing will be tonight. Oh, and he gets tagged. Nice combination there, and might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just tweak that head off yeah. the center line. He was landing one before, now he's throwing everything in combination, and they're all landing. Oh, huge hook. This could be it. Oh, big left hook there. Well, he's able to get back up here, but oh, man, is he on wobbly legs. Oh, oh that's big. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, oh, right there, his opponent's rabbit chip. He's hurt bad. He can't. 
cannot take another shot like that. Strong outside leg kick. That is it! Wow! Wow! All right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 29 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Quinton Rampage Jackson. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is...